before the spent fuel pools became an issue, it was an event sort of very similar to the Three Mile Island, only with four reactors instead of one. Once we had the spent fuel pool issue in Japan where they uh, blew the buildings apart and exposed us to the atmosphere, it became similar, that part of it became similar to a Chernobyl where they had a massive uh, expulsion of material into the atmosphere because that plant did not have a containment structure so it was going straight into the environment. So we're in between those two. What I'm doing in San Diego is uh, there's a lot of reports that there's this radiation plume coming from Japan. Well, the detectors that are normally op in operation on the West Coast are designed to detect specific particles, specific types of radiation. And many times when they report that they find it, people don't really know what that means. So what I'm doing is measuring background radiation to show that even with some of these particles coming, there's no real impact or change to our background radiation levels. That we're at the same risk as we were before, which is incredibly low. This is a handheld radiation detector. It uh, designed to detect gammas and betas if they're real close. It reads out in micro rads per hour is the scale I'm using. From the standpoint of radiation, I haven't seen anything that should be a concern to us. I do get lots of questions about it. They are finding a few particles from here, but they're at such a small level, a small quantity, that it has no real impact on our health. I look at our general radiation background that's not changing, so I'm not recommending that we have any concern with radiation. Now, other impacts of the San Diegans is that this is an economic disaster in, in Japan. And products that come from Japan that need power to build and manufacture, there's going to be an impact on that, because this is a significant impact on the Japanese infrastructure, especially electrical infrastructure. Uh, one of the concerns, local concerns is, is San Onofre safe? Uh, I can say from an evaluation of the criteria used to design San Onofre and having tested their uh, containment structure that their containment is sound and it won't leak, that a tsunami is not a danger here, nor an earthquake. Uh, we've analyzed for the worst case and overbuilt on both of those. Uh, the problem in Japan has occurred because they ignored their uh, tsunami design criteria and assumed that being on a, uh, a bluff about four meters above the ocean was sufficient when their analysis said they needed to cover about 20-25 feet.